Hey guys, Three Rivers Card Collector here, back with another video. Today I've got a video response for Shane at Shoebox Legends. Congrats Shane on 500 subscribers. I see you're continuing to grow in subscriber count as well. So keep up all the good work, love your videos. Uh, the first part of the video response is how I've changed as a card collector. So I started collecting 2002 tops back when I was a kid. This was my first year, I was about five, I think, when it came out. Yeah, I was five turning six. I got it for my birthday. And really all I did as a kid was collect flagship tops. And as a kid growing up in Pittsburgh, I was happy pulling any pirates, whether it was someone promising, like a rookie, or it was just a, a pitcher on the team. Didn't matter. I, I just wanted pirates, and I'd be happy pulling, like, a favorite player. I just happened to have uh, 2023 tops on me. But that's how I started, and I collected that way well into middle school and early high school, and then I kind of stopped collecting cards for a while. I switched to fishing, spent all my time fishing, and it was good, I still love fishing. But all my time and money went into that. I took quite a quite a little bit of a break. I started back up again in college, just kinda trying to pull some of the rookie cards from my fantasy teams or just packs here and there. And really that morphed into me breaking boxes and buying into breaks. And I was I was chasing cards like this. You know, your hits, autographs, low numbered cards. And after doing that for a few years, I've I've really morphed into what I am now, right? I just get disappointed with the boxes. You never get your value out of them. You're rarely gonna pull a card that you really enjoy. So then you're trying to sell the kind of recoup the money so you can buy the cards you want. Now I just kind of buy the singles. And I'll buy anything from like modern day shiny stuff all the way to old school vintage stuff. So I want a big, I'm missing a card here, there we go. Big vintage Pirates kick right now. So I'm collecting guys like the, the Wayner brothers. You got Paul and Lloyd Wayner. And I love these like strip cards and old school stuff. Uh, Archie Vaughn and Pie Trainer. And can't go wrong with like Roberto Clemente. But that's kind of where I am at now. Um, I'm happy where I'm at, and uh, you know I've learned a lot of lessons along the way by kind of experiencing every aspect of the hobby like that. And now I just kind of relax a little bit into the hobby. I kind of only buy the cards if I like them. I don't have to worry about buying a box and not liking any of the cards out of it, and then uh, never making my money back on the cards. So it's it's comforting to know that I'm kind of out of that stage, and I'm I'm just in a spot where I'm happy with my collection again. The second part of the video is brands or series of cards that I wish would make a comeback. And I don't do much football anymore, but based on the background, I think you can tell what my answer to this is gonna be, and that's Panini Unparalleled. So here I've got a 101 RPA of James Conner. Cracked ice. And I've also got these two Impact Patrick Mahomes cards here. So on un Unparalleled, I'm pretty sure it was football only. I don't think they did basketball or anything, but it started in 2016. I don't have any of those on me at the moment, I don't think. And then it continued all the way through 2019. So that was this one here. And they, they called it unparalleled, ironically, I think, 
just because there's a gazillion parallels and all sorts of different bright, vibrant colors. And I mean, you get these cool, that's the same like Kaboom pattern where you get the cracked ices. There's some like bright pinks and neon greens. It was just a really cool set. And uh, I always enjoyed getting into breaks with it or buying singles like I did here. But um, I think it would be a, a good product to come back on, especially with kind of anything shiny and bright patterns is kind of what's in. I'm surprised I uh, haven't brought it back. So I, I'd love to see Untrailhead make a comeback. So I'll do it for this video. Uh, again, congrats, Shane. Uh, if you are not subscribed to Shoebox Legends, give him a follow. Uh, he collects a little bit of everything, so I'm sure there's at least a third of the videos you would enjoy of his, even if you don't even like uh, hockey or old school vintage stuff. So uh, check him out. Um, I'll try to remember to leave his uh, channel link in the description. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video.